Hallelujah. Thank the Lord this morning. Good morning to you, my brothers and sisters. Good morning. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We praise you. We love you this morning. We lift you up. We declare that you are an awesome God. You are a wonderful God. You are a loving, a kind, and a just God. And we just want to thank you and praise you. We just want to love you. We just want to lift you up this morning. We come to give you all the glory, to give you all of the praises. Yes, we thank you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We lift you up this morning, Lord God. For you are truly an awesome God. You are a wonderful God. You are a mighty God. You are just and a wonderful God this morning. Hallelujah. And we thank our Heavenly Father for who he is and who we are this morning. Hallelujah. For we love you, Lord. And we thank you for loving us this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord, this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. The song says in the background, this, our, this is our winter season. Hallelujah. Good morning to you, Jaquiel Moore, Mary Stacy, Edwina Mooney, Lavinia Ray Rowe. Good morning to you, ladies. Good to see y'all this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God, we just thank you and honor you. We love you this morning. Hallelujah. We glorify you. We magnify you today. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we just thank him and praise him. Hallelujah. Good morning to you, Juanita Hudson. Good morning to you, Alina Williams and Willie Mae Johnson. Auntie, good to see you. Odette Pinnell, Janice Moultrie, good morning to you, ladies. Hallelujah. Good morning, Deacon Pinnell. Good to see you, too. Jacqueline Hamilton, good to see you. Praise the Lord. Thank God for you all this morning. Hallelujah. You know, some people had a day off from work because it's President's Day. And we just thank God, hallelujah, that every day is the Lord's Day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Psalm 27. <clears throat> Excuse me. Psalm 27. Said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the weak, wicked... Even mine enemies and my foes came up to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart should not fear. Though war should rise against me, and this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle, he should hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I see. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Neither has thou, oh, I'm sorry, thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a blessing to know that those who may rise up against you, the Lord will protect you. Hallelujah. And we just thank him and praise him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. Let me read that again. I will bless the Lord at all times. Let me say it one more time. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. 
My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were ashamed, were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel, hold on, let's back up. Verse 6, second part. They, or actually, verse 6, David said, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about him. I'm sorry, verse 6 says, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. Know that the Lord will save you out of all your troubles as you pour out your heart unto him. Hallelujah. As you trust him and let him lead God and direct you, he will save you out of all of your troubles. Verse 7, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivered them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Hallelujah. Come, ye children, listen unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desires life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hear it and delivers them out of all their troubles. Here it is again. We, we, we see that again. Hallelujah. We cry unto the Lord and he delivers us out of all of our troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save as such as be of a contrite or humble spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. We all thank you for deliverance, Father. Hallelujah. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate, shall be condemned, shall be without. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Hallelujah. We thank God for abundance. We thank him, and we just praise him. We just love him. We lift him up this morning. We glorify him. We magnify him this morning. Last song, Psalm 121. Last song this morning. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills for which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Oh, gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you. We love you. We lift you up this morning. We come to give you the glory and the honor that you deserve today. Father God, we thank you because you are a most gracious God and a wonderful God, a loving and a kind God. You are just God. Lord, we lift you up this morning because you're the same God as yesterday, today, and forevermore. We thank you for what you're doing, what you've already done for us, what you're doing for us, and what you'll do for us in the future. Lord God, we thank you and praise you this morning because even though you're sitting high, you look low. Father, we thank you that when you woke us up this morning that we didn't have no doubt we know that you are the Lord and you take care of us you provide for us you care for us you protect us and keep us Lord we thank you and praise you this morning as we hollow out your name this morning we call you Jehovah Rophi you a healer you heal these physical bodies you heal our spirit you heal our mentality you heal our emotions and we thank you and praise you this morning Father we thank you and praise you this morning Morning, as we call you Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jehovah Shalom, the God of our peace. We love you and adore you this morning. Hallelujah. Jehovah Nisi, our victory, our banner. Father, all our hope and trust is in you. El Shaddai, the many-breasted one, the source of all of our blessings. God Almighty this morning. Adonai, sovereign and majestic God. And 
we just thank you and praise you. We love you. We lift you up this morning. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We glorify you for new mercy and new compassion today. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Give God praise wherever you are. Hallelujah. Yes, we thank him and praise him. He is an awesome God. He's a wonderful God. He's a magnificent God. He's a loving God. He's a just God. He's a righteous God. He's a holy God. He's an amazing God. And we thank him and praise him this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yes, we just thank our Heavenly Father. He is awesome. He is wonderful. There is no God like our God. Hallelujah. He sits high, but he's looking low. And we just thank him and praise him this morning. We thank him for who he is and who we are. Hallelujah. And I praise God for you today. Hallelujah. I thank you for showing up this morning. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, come on. Let's get into a uh, matter of fact. Let me say a prayer for you. Hallelujah. Let me pray for your family. Hallelujah, this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, we come before you this morning. I stand in the gap, interceding on, my, on the behalf of my brothers and sisters that are standing with me in prayer at this very hour. Father God, and those who will come and stand with us in the future. Lord God, I pray your kingdom come, your will be done in their life today as the plan and the will of God is in heaven. Father, you increase and get all the glory from the fruits of our lives. Father God, this day, Heavenly Father, I thank you that your promises to us are yes and amen. I thank you for giving us strength where we're weak. I thank you for giving us healing where we're sick. Father, I thank you for giving us peace in the midst of chaos. Lord God, thank you right now, Heavenly Father, yes. I thank you for the hedge of protection that you have placed all around us today, that no evil will befall us, neither shall any plague come not our dwelling. Father, I thank you that no one with any type of contagious, hallelujah, deadly disease, can come in our presence, come in our house. Lord God, I thank you and praise you this morning that you have blessed us. You're keeping us safe from all the laws. Lord God, we thank you right now as we put our trust in you, as we acknowledge you, God, that you direct our path. Father, that we follow your direction. We follow your leading. Lord God, I thank you and praise you this morning, oh Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord, that you reached down from heaven and poured out your glory upon us, that our cup runneth over. But Father, we thank you that the promise that you made to us is not only to us, but it's to our seed, to our children's children. Lord God, we thank you and praise you. I pray this morning, oh Heavenly Father, that generational curses is broken over my brothers and sisters and their hallelujah family lives. I thank you, Father, that families are being saved and redeemed from the curse of the law that they're receiving Jesus Christ. Lord God, I thank you right now that this morning that you opened up the windows of heaven and poured out your spirit, your power upon us and in us today that we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Lord God, we thank you this morning, oh Heavenly Father, yes, Lord. I thank you for answering prayer right now. Hallelujah, that you, Father, have answered prayers and that we do not lack any good thing this day. Father God, I thank you right now that this whole week will be filled with your glory and your honor so that somebody will see us, hallelujah, and turn their life around because of the glory of the God of you, Father, that's on us. Because you have crowned us with your glory. You have crowned us with your honor. Father God, and we won't turn back. Father, we won't turn around because we trust in you and we love you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Give God praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, we thank you this morning. Thank you this morning. Thank everyone who's joined us this morning. Hallelujah. Listen, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Keep trusting in God. Keep believing God. Keep praising God. Hallelujah. Our God is an awesome God. Our God has delivered you. Everything you need, God has put it in you. Hallelujah. Everything you need, the power, the victory, the strength, he's put it in you. God has made you complete. God has made you whole. Hallelujah. It's in you this morning. Hallelujah. It's in you. Hallelujah. And just know that. Know that it's in you. Know that you are a more powerful being than what you're giving yourself credit for. Because you received Jesus. And because you received Jesus, God has placed all of himself in you this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, God has placed all of himself in you this morning. 
Hallelujah. So everything you need is already in you. Don't be afraid. All right, come on, y'all. Let's, let, let's get into some confession this morning. Say this after me. Say, Father, I declare that I was formed, created in your image, after your likeness, after your kind. Before I came forth, you ordained me and called me to do your will and your good pleasure. You have blessed me, made my name great, and I am blessed to be a blessing. I am the head and not the tail, above only and never beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. You put all things under my feet. I rule, I reign, I dominate in my life as a king through the anointed one and his anointing. I am a believer. I am a believer. I am a believer and not a doubter. You have perfected that which concerns me and made every crooked place in my life straight. This is my receiving day. This is my day of breakthrough. This is my day of manifestation. I am anointed and appointed for this time, for this season. Jesus came so that I can have life, live in faith, live in favor, live in fullness, live in victory every day and enjoy my life to the full in abundance to an overflow in Jesus name let's give God some praise this morning hallelujah <laughs> praise you the Lord praise you the Lord hallelujah hallelujah listen we got to understand that we got to know that hallelujah Jesus came so that we can have life have life more abundantly to the full till it's overflowing. Hallelujah. So don't be walking around feeling sad, being upset. Hallelujah. Because God sent his son so that you can enjoy your life. And if you don't believe me, go and read John 10.10. 10. Read it in various versions of the life, uh, I mean, of the Bible, and you'll see what I'm saying. He said, for the thief comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I have come so that they may have life and enjoy life. Hallelujah. So Jesus came to give us a life in the overflow, to give us life on earth in full, so that we can have life on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. When he taught his disciples to pray, that's what he taught them. Father, give us this day on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. So Jesus came so that you and I can have a better life on earth first, and then when we get to that sweet by and by. Hallelujah. So know that Jesus came so that you can enjoy your life every day, not just one day, not some days, but every day. Hallelujah. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him. Come on, say this after me. I am this morning. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am courageous. I am determined. I am victorious. I am a winner. I am a champion. I am unstoppable. I am unmovable. I am unshakable. I am unbreakable. I am loved. I am loving. I am gifted. I am talented. I am amazing. I am anointed. I am blessed. I am empowered. I am prosperous. I am successful. I am complete, I am whole, I am healed, I am confident, I am faithful, I am dependable, I am reliable, I am forgiven, I am forgiving, I am grateful, I am humble, I am thankful, I am compassionate, I am generous. I am kind, I am nice, I am strong, I am capable, I am skillful, I am talented, 
I am intelligent. I am well able. I am graceful. I am divinely favored. I am chosen. I am royalty. I am holy. I am wonderful. I am sanctified. I am renewed. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am fire baptized. I am a new creature created in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things are become new. Greater is the Spirit of God that's in me, that's on me, than any spirit that's in this world. I am a child of God. I am God's hand in work. I am God's masterpiece. In Jesus' name, give God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sister, that I agree with everything you don't take right there. You are just what you said. You are. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We love him. We thank him. We praise him. You know, that right there is a... Um, Hallelujah, that's that's also one of my favorite confessions to do right there. I am, because it reminds me of who I am in Christ. Remember last week I told you, get in the mirror when we say this. Hallelujah, so that you can look at yourself and you can speak to yourself while you say this. Hallelujah, why? Because just like David, you need to encourage yourself. <clears throat> There's nothing like watching yourself and hearing yourself say something good about yourself. So hallelujah, so do that, you know, go back, listen to this later on, even if you just do this part right here, and you, huh, so you can have that confidence, you can have that boldness, so you can tell yourself you're beautiful, hallelujah, you confirm your own self, and that way when, 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 when others confirm you, they're just testifying of what they, of what God says about others will confirm you, let others praise you, you don't have to praise yourself, other people will do it in public, you just be who God called you to be and do what God called you to do, hallelujah, and we just thank him and praise him right now in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, some some of you brothers and sisters, you may be at work, getting ready for work, hallelujah, or maybe you just off the day and you just going to relax, but I want to declare the favor of God all over your life today, hallelujah, I want us to declare that the favor of God is working for us no matter what. But I want us to believe that these words we speak in, these prayers that we're doing, we got to believe it. It's not, don't let it become routine. Oh yeah, it's just Monday morning and, and you know, I normally go to prayer. No, when you come to prayer, you come expecting to receive from God. You come believing God. You come believing that God is able to break, hallelujah, every yoke and destroy every burden, hallelujah, that God is able, so what you got to do is, you got to align yourself with God and get out of bondage, hallelujah, you got to renew your mind, hallelujah, because let me tell you something, there's nothing in this world greater than God, hallelujah, when mother and father forsake you, when hey, when, when friends turn their back on you, when, when somebody you love hurts you, God remains the same, hallelujah, Praise ye the Lord. So come on, come on. Let's make this favor confession. Say this out to me. Say, Father, I declare that your grace, undeserved, unearned, unmerited, favor, your supernatural power and ability surrounds my life as a shield. I declare the favor of God is working for me. When I'm asleep and when I'm awake, when I get up, when I lay down, when I go out, when I come in, in my home, on my job, with my businesses, I have favor, good success, and a good understanding in the sight of God and man. I declare that my God has raised up people to use their favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, wisdom to help me, to bless me, 
to do good to me. My God has raised me up to use my favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, my strength, my money, my wisdom to help someone, to bless someone, to do good to someone. I declare the favor of God is causing rules, laws, regulations, and ordinances to be changed, created, modified, to help me, to bless me, to favor me. I am Abraham's seed, and the favor of Abraham is on my life. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Say it again. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. One more time. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. If you can't turn around one time, hallelujah. And for my brothers and sisters that can't, let me turn around for you. Hallelujah. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Hallelujah. Listen, you got to believe that favor is working for you today. I don't care if you go into the parking lot to go in the store. You believe that favor is working for you right now. Hallelujah. You believe that God has raised up people to use their favor to bless you and he raised you up so you can bless somebody. Hallelujah. Don't say you don't have it. Just say, I thank God that you blessed me with the ability to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Silver and gold you may not have, but right now you got Jesus, and you can give him Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. So God has given you something that you can use to be a blessing to favor somebody. Hallelujah. And God has given somebody something that they can use to bless you. So know that the favor of God is working for you. Let's reach up and let's touch the hem of his garment and let's pull down this favor this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Say it after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pull down favor from the north, south, east, and west in Jesus' name. Put it down this morning. Woo! I'm going to reach up and just keep pulling down favor. I declare favor, favor, favor today. Hallelujah. Yes, this favor is just working for us. It's working for me, working for my wife, working for my family, working for our ministry. Hallelujah. It's working for this church. Hallelujah. It's working for you too. I'm reaching up, just pulling down favor today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because why? When God favors you, can't nothing stop you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He'll turn a no into a yes in the name of Jesus. He'll put you at the front of the line. Hallelujah. With his favor. Hallelujah. So you just thank him and praise him. You just believe it and receive it this morning. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care where you at right now. When God's favor is meant for you, when God opened that door of favor for you, there's nothing nobody can do to stop it. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. We thank you right now. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, we thank him for the favor this morning. We thank him for his glory this morning. We just thank him for the favor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank him. We thank him. Listen, I want you to know something. Mighty man, mighty woman of almighty God. I want you to know, know and understand something this morning. That God has put his power in you. He put his power upon you. And the reason I know this, he said, because Jesus said that ye shall receive power after that which the Holy Ghost has come upon you. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive the power of God. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive the power of all of heaven upon your life. You got the power to overcome. You got the power to defeat. You got the power to be victorious. Why? Because you receive God's spirit into your life. 
We read in Psalms 27 and Psalms 34 this morning that God delivers us out of all of our troubles. Hallelujah. If you don't believe me, go back and read it. He said God delivers us out of all of our trouble. He delivers us out of all of our afflictions. So we have power this morning to be delivered. We have power to be set free. We have power to be made whole. Tap into that power today. When, when, hey, the, when somebody try to make you go off, tap into the power to remain peaceful and just say, you know what? God bless you. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Just tell them God bless you because you know if it wasn't for the Lord, you would snatch all the hair off their head. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm just saying, come on. Hallelujah. Tell you just like I heard somebody say, hallelujah. I put my foot in your behind. And right now we putting our foot in the devil's behind because he mad this morning. But praise the Lord. Come on, come on. Let's do this overcomer's confession this morning. Praise you the Lord. Say, say this after me. Say, Father, I declare that I am more than a conqueror. I am an overcomer. And I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. I decree and boldly profess that my mind is renewed by the word of God concerning every area of my life. I declare that I am a victor. I am a victor. I am a victor and not a victim. The devil is a defeated foe in my life and I overcome every attack of the enemy. Jesus came so that I can have life and enjoy my life richly. I profess that my God has not given me a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I do not fret, worry, have anxiety or fear because God is for me. So who or what can stand against me? I speak to everything in my life that goes against the will of God, the plan of God, and the purpose of God for my life. And I render them inoperable in the name of Jesus. I speak to the mountains issues, problems, sickness, disease, anxiety, doubt, and I tell them to be thou removed and command them to leave my life in the name of Jesus. I am victorious. I am a winner. I will achieve what my God has for me. I am a believer. I am a believer. I am a believer and now the doubter. I will overcome anything and everything that comes against me in Jesus' name. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise him, praise him, praise him this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Listen, things going to come at you. Things going to come against you. But know that you are an overcomer. Know that God created you to be a champion. God created you to be a winner. He created you to be a victor and not a victim. Remember that you are a believer in Christ Jesus. You are a believer in the word of God. So therefore you overcome by the what? Blood of the lamb and the words that you testify. The words that you speak. You overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. Let your testimony be that I am victorious. I am a child of God. Let your testimony be that I am successful. That I am more than a conqueror. That I am an overcomer today. Hallelujah. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, I got a question for you. How many of y'all feel like fighting this morning? Hallelujah. You just feel like fighting. Hallelujah. Not nah, people. I'm talking about the devil. Hallelujah. I don't know. Some of us, we may feel like fighting some people too. 
Hallelujah, they could have made you mad yesterday on the Lord's Day, and now you feel like fighting today, but we know that every day is the Lord's Day. So we're going to help you get some of that fight energy out this morning because we're going to let the devil know it's on now. Hallelujah, that we suited up with the whole arm of God this morning. Hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord. Yeah, we're going to tell the devil it's on now. Somebody say that after me, it's on now. Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord. Say this after me, say, Father, I declare that it's on now. It's on now. It's on now. Satan, liar, thief, destroyer. I speak to you now and boldly declare that you are a defeated foe in my life. I confidently speak and boldly declare that you cannot have my family, my praise, my victory, the vision, and the plan of God for my life. I declare that I am blessed and my seed is blessed. Beyond a thousand generations, my God has not given me a spirit of confusion, defeat, or fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. When you came at me like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord lifted up a standard of protection and victory. For me, against you, devil, Satan, liar, thief, destroyer, you came at me one way, but you are fleeing in several ways. It's on now. It's on now. It's on now. I speak the word of God, and the word says that I have the victory. Through Christ Jesus and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, surrounds me, keeps me, protects me. Satan, this is the day the Lord has made, and I am rejoicing, and I am glad in it. I declare you can't have my family, my health, my faith. My victory, my peace, my joy, my hope, or my praise. I live in Jesus, and Jesus lives in me. God has given me everything that pertains unto life, godliness, and righteousness. It's on now. It's on now. It's on now. I have on. The full armor of Almighty God. And I stand ready to fight in this battle. I have on the breastplate of righteousness. The helmet of salvation. And my loins are girded with the truth. My feet are shodded with the preparation of the gospel. Of the good news. Of Jesus Christ. I take. The seal of faith. And I quench. Every fiery dart. Every lie. You throw at me. I have. The sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. And I use it daily. In my battle. Satan. I stand ready. To fight you now. And I declare. That I will see the salvation of the Lord for my life, my children's life, and my children's children's life. Satan, you picked the wrong child of Almighty God to mess with. And you are defeated in the name of Jesus. It's on now. It's on now. It's on now. In Jesus' name. Give our God some praise. Hallelujah. Hey, remember this, that, that, that when you...
feel like there's an attack of the enemy coming against you, remember you have on the full arm of God. Remember that you walked out. Hallelujah. You got up this morning. You put on, when you got dressed, you put on the full arm of God. Hallelujah. Why did you put the armor on? Because you knew you may have to fight today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Think about it. I, I, I remember sometimes as a child, we wore certain things because we knew we were fighting today. We already knew. Hallelujah. Why? Because we were fighting yesterday. So we didn't mess up our good clothes. Hallelujah. So we put on our play clothes. Because when you put on your play clothes, see, my parents couldn't tell whether we've been fighting or playing. Sometimes we were fighting, sometimes we were playing. But either way it go, we was prepared for the battle. You may win some, you may lose some. But at the very end, you on top. You are victorious. So just know that. Put on the full arm of God. Yes, thank you, to, uh, Pastor Sabrina. This fight is fixed anyway. You're going to win. You coming out victorious anyhow. Why? God fixed the fight so you and I can win. But put on the full arm of God. Don't you leave home without it. Some of y'all, y'all know y'all keep y'all set up anyway. Y'all wish a joke of wood. You, you, you waiting on a moment to snap. Well, I need you to snap on the devil. I need you to snap on these problems, these issues, this chaos. I need you to snap on that in the name of Jesus. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Come on, let's touch the hem of his garment. Let's pull some things down this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pull down strength in Jesus' name. Pull it down this morning. Woo! Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I need you to be strong today. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Let's reach up. Let's touch the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. This time we're going to touch it for direction because we need God to direct our path. We need God to show us where to go, what to do, how to do it. Hallelujah. We need direction. Come on, say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pull down direction, guidance. Wisdom, knowledge, in Jesus' name. Pull it down this morning. Woo! Y'all, y'all remember that uh, Peter, Peter, that when Jesus, he sent his disciples away. He said, "Go to the other side." After he fed multitudes, and then he went up into the mountains to pray. And then after he did that, he came and he started walking on the water. And his disciples, they thought it was a ghost. But somebody got a glimpse and saw maybe that's Jesus. And that was Peter. And Peter said, Lord, if it is thou, bid me to come. And Jesus responded with what? One word. He didn't identify himself. He didn't engage in a lengthy conversation with Peter. Jesus said one word to Peter. He said, come. And at that moment, Peter stepped out of the boat. And began to walk on water. He stepped out in faith. But while he was staring, after he stepped out in faith and began to walk in, in, in faith, I think something hit Peter and he couldn't believe that he was actually walking on water. Doubt, or not even doubt, fear came in. And Peter began to sink. He began to sink. And Jesus reached down and picked him up. Child of God, when you step out in faith, don't allow fear to come in. You keep walking because Jesus is with you. He's already picked you up because you stepped out. So keep on moving. Keep walking for what God has for you. So let's touch the hem of his garment. Let's close out with faith this morning. 
Remember, get out of that boat. Get out of that comfort zone. Get out of fear. Get out of, ain't nobody in my family ever did this. Get out of, I'm not good enough. You are more than enough. Then you listen to the I am this morning. Get out of, I don't look the part. You are the part, baby. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Get out of, I don't have enough money. God has already favored you. So come on, let's touch the hem of his garment. Let's pull down faith today because it's in you already. Remember, you are complete. It's in you. You just need the faith the size of a grain of mustard seed. Remember, I told you, hallelujah, do what? God has already given you the measure of faith. Get locked in. Get locked in. Step out on faith. Come on. Let's do this. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pull down faith, crazy faith, unquenchable faith in Jesus' name. Pull it down this morning. Woo! Give him praise. It's in you. Hallelujah. It's in you. Believe me. It's in you. Listen, you have something that people need. Notice I didn't say they won't. They need it. Why? Because God put it in you, and what God put in you, only you can do. Hallelujah. Whether you sing, whether you dance, whether you use your brain power, whatever it is, God put something in you that people need. Hallelujah. So don't be afraid and don't doubt yourself. Please get out of get out of doubt. Know this. Know that God has placed something in you to cause you to be victorious. And it's going to, hallelujah, it's, gonna, it's coming by faith. So today, when you're sitting down, just activate the Holy Spirit. Sing a little song, too, to help encourage yourself. Holy Spirit, activate. Dance with it. Because when you're going through, you need two things. You need a dance and a song. You need a scripture and a song, because the song will make you dance. Praise the Lord. Thank y'all for joining me today, and I want y'all to understand that I do love you. I appreciate you, and I thank God for you. Thank you all for showing up today on this day, this President's Day, and uh, pray for our president. Hallelujah. We thank God for our president. Hallelujah. He's not a perfect man, not doing everything perfect, but he's fighting a battle. Hallelujah. With some devils up there in D.C., so we just going to keep him lifted up in prayer. Vice President, hallelujah, his, stat, his, his cabinet. Hallelujah, just keep them lifted up in prayer because we know the devil is busy. Evil is trying to just take over the world, but we're going to keep praying. We're going to keep standing in the gap because the Bible says, hallelujah, heaven, heaven suffers violence and the violence taken by force. So we're going to pray, hallelujah, like, like, like we're in the fight of our lives. Hallelujah, praise you the Lord, praise you the Lord. So with that being said, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Invite somebody with you. Remember, step out in faith. Hallelujah. And if you need to get in touch with me, you see the number on the screen. Oh, no, the number's not on, on the screen. Hallelujah. If you need prayer or whatever, it's 561-985-1781. If you want to just, you know, hey, send, send me a thank you note. Hallelujah. Just support our, our ministry and what we do here at Uplift Church 429. You see, I pinned the, um, the address, Uplift Church 429, P.O. Box 1286, Loxahatchee, Florida. 33470. Listen, I want to invite you to come out and fellowship with us this Sunday. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. We're going to have a great time in the Word. We're going to have a great time fellowshipping. And I just want to invite you out to come and fellowship with us this Sunday, 9 a.m. at Yeager Middle School. Trust me, you won't be disappointed in the service and you won't be disappointed in the fellowship. I can promise you that. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. And also, too, if you didn't see yesterday's message, please go on YouTube. Hallelujah. Get your grandsons, your sons, your nephews, your little male cousins. Hallelujah. Get them played for them first. And then, hey, let, the, let all the females listen to it. Praise the Lord. But go back and listen to yesterday's message on YouTube at Up Little Church 429. I'm telling you, it's a message for our, for our men that we need to hear. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. So with that being said, thank you, Auntie Gerald. Holy Spirit activating all of our lives today. So on the behalf of myself, 
uh, James Tiger Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Uplift Church 429, my beautiful wife in the background, Pastor Sabrina, our family team, Wilkinson, and of course, on the behalf of the most beautiful, wonderful, amazing, blessed, bestest, Holy Ghost filled, devil stumping, fire baptized, hallelujah, committed, loyal, skillful, able, prompt to do, on fire, devil stumping, body of believers on this side of heaven, my Uplift Church 429 family, and of course, our Uplift Church 429 Facebook Live family. We love you. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning. Uh, uh, Pastor uh, Evangelist Mooney, give me a call when you get free. I need to talk to you. God bless y'all, and we love you. Peace. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Hallelujah.